Yeah, that's going to be a perfect rock for the waterfall. But what about this? Oh, I like that side too. <laughs> I think we're using that side. First rock going in. Let's do it. Hey everyone, it's Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. Today we are in Township of Washington, New Jersey for part two of this incredible pond build. In part one, we went through the whole construction of how we built this pond, also prepping for where the bluestone patio is gonna be. Got a couple steps in there. That's a base for a shed that's gonna have a cool porch on it. Now we're at the point where we are gonna start doing our finish work. This pond has to get completely buttoned up today. All these top edges, we're going to be creating areas where aquatic planting is going to be going, finish up our intake, do our plumbing for our pumps, and get all this cleaned up and ready for some water. You know, you get so busy working sometimes the day just gets away from you and you forget that you have to talk to you people. <laughs> I love it actually. Our intake bay is really getting tightened up nicely. We set some rocks there on the far side on top of that stack stone. Boulevard's just kind of working all that stuff in. Pond is pretty much finished except for the gravel on the bottom. But check out these edges. This is going to be full of aquatic planting just cascading over into the water kind of dissolving that line between aquatic and terrestrial. This is ready to accept those big bluestone flagging pieces that are gonna cantilever over here. We are on to my favorite part, which is the waterfall. We've got all our steps in, so now we've got our grade set where we can now cut our stream and waterfall in. Right now we're locking in our overlap. This is a 20 by 50 liner. We've got one piece coming down into the pond. The actual pond liner comes up underneath this we're locking this in with an overlap. This way, any water that makes it behind the rockwork that's in the waterfall can shed down inside the liner, remaining in the system going into the pond. We are really putting a long day in today because we're trying to get to the point where we can actually run this thing before Jay and Scott have to go back home, which is only one more day. What do you think, Ant? Get it running tomorrow? Yeah, I wish. <laughs> All right, we got a waterfall going on here. Up top here, we started with our 6,000 signature biofalls. That's gonna be another filter. Water's pumped in the bottom of this. It flows up through graduations and filtration. Out the top, we've got a mechanical attachment where our liner attaches to the faceplate of the biofalls, starting a nice seamless beginning of our waterfall. Now we're starting to frame this out. We've got these large boulders and we wanna see a lot of back and forth with this water. Coming out of the biofalls, I've got this big rock that's framing the right side and it's got this little step in it. So I was like, let's use that as a waterfall. It's got a natural shoulder kind of containing things. And then I tucked another rock in behind it. So there's gonna be a lot going on there with dropping off this way, kind of rolling off of that rock there. And then importantly, it's the layering. The layering is what makes waterfalls look natural. That's where this rock comes in in front here. So it looks like things are kind of sunk in and then we'll step back to the left here with another boulder layering it back further. We'll leave areas like this, like gaps that are gonna be for aquatic planting. That's gonna soften up a lot of those transition spots. And then we've got another waterfall out in front here where we've got a similar situation. We've got this really awesome rock and it's got this built-in frame on this side, a little step down, and that's where our water's gonna be coming off. One of the things that we do quite often is we put a slope rock in front of one of our main cascades, that gives us that secondary waterfall that comes off in front of it. So that'll be rolling off of here, hitting this rock, sliding down and falling this way, as well as falling into this area here. Scott and Anthony are washing down the pond right now, so that is really good news because 
if we can get that filling tonight, we've got a shot of actually firing this up tomorrow. And then comes all the finish work. We've got to lay all these bluestone patio areas. We still have to build a wetland filter with waterfalls coming out of that. So uh, yeah, back to it. Coming to the end of day five and the pond is filling. That is a fantastic feeling. That means all the rock work inside the pond is finished. And the best part about this project, so the one homeowner has been out here checking on things as we progress, he's super excited, but his wife has not been out here at all. So when she sees this, it's gonna be for the very first time. And I don't think she has any idea about how extensive this project is. <laughs> It'll be interesting. See you tomorrow. Day six, it's Saturday. Today is the big, big push. I got a bunch of guys here. I got Bolivar, I got Brennan, Drew's here, Anthony's here, and Jay's still here for a little bit. I'm gonna get Drew and Anthony on this bluestone irregular flagging here. This is gonna take quite a while because every single joint on these stones has to be cut to match the next one. So it's very time consuming. It's going on here, then up in the walkway, they got the same thing. And then across the stepping stones, we've got a small patio over there. That leaves me with the other guys to finish the stream. We've got to take and clean up our edges just like this. So when we're done, you won't see any of the liner. It's all tucked in. We do leave about a foot of liner outside of our working area. This way, if there's ever a problem in the future, there's enough liner there to pull up and make adjustments. This will take us just maybe a, a couple hours. Then we can get rolling on that constructed wetland filter. I really want to get that in today because we have to finish the waterfalls into the pond because the pond is just about full now and that's going to give us the opportunity to plug this thing in later and see what we came up with let's get saturday rolling I've got a little bit of work left to do on the constructed wetland filter. I'm gonna be adding some rocks just around the top edge to make it look like another mini pond at the top. And then right next to it, we're gonna be tucking that other small patio up here. Enough room for like two Adirondack chairs. Just a cool destination spot when you're crossing up through the landscape over those stepping stones in the stream, you'll end up over here. We're gonna butt it right up against here. I could see them using this rock as like a seat rock taking in that beautiful waterfall. We are super close to finishing this project. I can't wait to fire this up and get the reaction from Wayne and Margaret. Let's do this. So, Margaret, you haven't seen anything. No, because I've been watching the crane going back and forth. 
That's amazing because I don't know how you had the willpower to stay inside. Come on no, back. I promised him. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really nervous about seeing this. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, look at my little clubhouse. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's been about a month and a half since I've been back to this project. The landscaping's done. I'll just show you. I mean, come on. This is, this is ridiculous. Mike from Today Landscaping came in and they dressed this pond better than I could have imagined. They did a fantastic job putting plants around here. When I first got here, I saw this shed with the bull on it, which is Love that bull, that's super cool. And I'm like, how's this gonna work, putting a pond behind here? Because my main concern was, well, you can't really see it from the house at all. You can maybe catch like the one part of the pond over here, but the rest of it you just can't see. And what Wayne had said to me is like, we spend a lot of time in this pavilion, so let's make sure this is the focal point from here. So great, that's fantastic. But what I really wasn't thinking about was as guests come in, they come through the house or they come through the gate, walking back here, you can just start to see the edge of something. You're like, oh, that's cool, it's a pond. And you round the corner. What the heck, are you kidding me? That is awesome. <laughs> Let's get started down this end. So we've got a custom intake base skimmer. Our pumps are housed in here. This is running a SLD five to nine variable speed pump for the main waterfall and we're running a 5PL that's feeding the wetland. Water's coming in here and you can see it does what it does which is just kind of swirl around and you can grab a nice little skimmer net, skim that stuff out of here and it does a fantastic job of keeping the pond clean. My favorite part about these type of skimmers is the fish can swim right inside here, turn around, they can go back out without getting trapped inside a skimmer. We've got aeration in the pond which is moving water from the bottom up to the top, turning this whole thing over, really keeping it nice and healthy. The garden path here next to the shed leads you onto this irregular flagstone patio. And Wayne and the guys built a really cool man cave shed back here. This patio was meant to enjoy the wetland filter and the pond itself. So we've got this edge here, which we've done quite often lately, where we've got stacked stone built up underneath it, but you can see the way we cantilever the stone right over the water down to the bottom. This is actually where they feed their fish. Super interactive spot there. And across the way, you've got those waterfalls that are coming out of the constructed wetland filter. Off to the left, this is the mainstream waterfall. Having this tree here, this kind of sets this off and looking from over there, you actually can't even tell there's a path that goes around the back here. So it's like a little secret garden entrance. Up here, a couple more steps. We've got a good change in elevation here. And then we've got these big slabs, it allows you to step over the stream. I didn't really want to do a bridge here. I like the fact that we can keep the water open. It's an easy step. Anybody can go over it and 
you're surrounded by water. On the left hand side, up top is our 6,000 biofalls and you can tell it is completely, completely disguised. This patio, this is a destination spot. You gotta cross over the stream to get to this one and you've got your own little piece of paradise up here backed up to the constructed wetland filter which looks like another small pond. Check that out. And you got that negative edge waterfall going off the end of the wetland into our beautiful pond down there. And it just looks, this is, this is my dream backyard. Like I wanna live here. I, I could just turn that into a house. I could live right there, overlook the pond, good to go. What do you guys think? Tell me down in the comments, how do we do here? I mean, what would you change in a situation like this? What would you have done better that would have fit your lifestyle? I love the way this turned out. Wayne and Margaret, they obviously love the way this turned out. We're gonna keep doing what we do over here at Atlantis Water Gardens every Friday, 4 p.m. Hit that subscribe button. Come back, come back and see more of these beautiful water features. And I'll see you guys on the next one.